up guys welcome back to my channel and I'm excited to talk about the Lizzie Borden Chronicles with Christina Ricci so of course growing up with Christina Ricci in the Adams family she was Wednesday Christina Ricci was in Casper she was in Sleepy Hollow with Johnny Depp she was in the afterlife which is a really creepy movie she was in monster she was in cursed she was in bless the child which was really weird along with so many others I love her as an actress. I can remember being little, watching her in Adam's Family, thinking, I hope I grow up and she's my best friend someday. So in case you don't know, the Lizzie Borden Chronicles actually came out last year in 2015, but a couple weeks ago it finally made its way to Netflix. It had mixed reviews, there were people that liked it and didn't like it, from what I can tell. The people that didn't like it wanted to kind of criticize the way it was filmed and, and they didn't think it was perfectly filmed. You have to remember they were trying to film it to make it look like it was the 1800s and honestly everyone that's seen it that's a paranormal fan loved the series. Now how much of the series is actual fact and true? We would all have to go to Fall River, Massachusetts and look up all of the actual background on Lizzie Borden. Back up if you don't know the story of Lizzie Borden, Lizzie Borden was a girl that was acquitted of the murders of her father and stepmother in 1892 and that comes in the famous rhyme of Lizzie Borden took an axe. I was actually shocked to find out that Christina Ricci was one of the executive producers on this. I don't know why it would shock me considering she's a very creepy, strange actress and I think she's amazing at what she does. So I'm assuming because she has such kind of a dark side that this was just something she was drawn to do. I thought it was great, honestly. Um, they nailed the story of Lizzie Borden as far as what we know as paranormal investigators. Like I said, I don't know how far they could have taken the series. There were people that were really upset that they didn't have like a season two, so they were trying to kind of put it down to make it seem like it was canceled and oh darn, there's not gonna be a season two, it's been canceled on Lifetime. But you guys have to realize that it was actually considered a limited series of television shows. So it wasn't going to be four series or four seasons, it was going to be one season and that was it. And really, there's only so much you can do about Lizzie Borden unless you're going to make a bunch of stuff up. So there's several episodes. It starts with Lizzie Borden being basically this innocent farm girl that has a lot of money and they have farm animals and all kinds of different stuff living in Fall River, Massachusetts in this giant house. It goes into, you know, the next few episodes of the murder and then she's basically made fun of and mocked by the town. Lizzie moves to a different area trying to make a name of herself as a teacher and she even becomes acquitted of the actual murder trials. It was claimed that her sister Emma was aware that Lizzie later did actually murder their parents, which is why Emma moved out, took half of the money, and bought her own house. No one really knows the true story though. However, I thought this was a great, great watch. If you guys get bored and you have Netflix, make sure you watch this. It's so good. Besides that, who doesn't love creepy Christina Ricci when she really gets into character. And she's one of those that when she gets into character, it's like really big time. Let me know what you guys thought about um, the Lizzie Borden Chronicles. Don't tear it apart too hard. It was pretty darn good, you have to admit, especially to consider being shot in the late 1800s. I thought it was pretty good. Leave me good comments below. Please subscribe to my channel if you don't already. Make sure that you follow me on social media. Go watch Lizzie Borden and let me know what you guys think. This was a big request um, from a lot of you guys wanting to hear opinions on paranormal series that are not just actually documentary reality. So hopefully you like this review. Short and sweet. And I will catch you guys next time.